Hey guys, Vern here, aka the V player, and I am back with another video. So, in this video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different than what I usually do. You guys know that I love the Big Bang Theory, but there's also the show Young Sheldon, which I love as well. Now, I'm not doing a ranking on one of these shows, rather, I'm gonna be doing references that happen in Young Sheldon that are from the Big Bang Theory and vice versa. So basically what that means is there was a scene in the Big Bang Theory and there was a reference to that scene from the Big Bang Theory in Young Sheldon. So I've gotten all of those for you guys and I have done that vice versa as well. So um, other than that, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for clicking on it and let's get right into it. The first reference on our list is Spock. Now, Sheldon has been a fan of Spock for a really long time and we have known that if we watch one show or the other or both shows, we know that Sheldon loves Spock. Now, we've seen this happen in Young Sheldon and The Big Bang Theory. So firstly, we see this happen in The Big Bang Theory in the episode The Spock Resonance, which is season 9 episode 7, where Sheldon does a Spockumentary, as Leonard called it, where he talks a little bit about Spock with Leonard Nimoy's son, Adam Nimoy. And we see this in Young Sheldon when he dresses up as Spock for the episode known as A Party Invitation, Football Grip, and an Earth Chicken, which is known as Season 3, Episode 9. In this episode, like I explained earlier, Sheldon dresses up as Spock to go to Billy Sparks' birthday and he and Billy Sparks explore chickens and stuff. It's really funny and it shows how much Sheldon loves Spock to wear his costume. The second reference on our list is knowledge. Now, knowledge has been used throughout the shows to convey a point that these guys are smart. We also see this in young Sheldon, but mostly we only see it with Sheldon because he always gives some fun facts and he's the first one to raise his hand in front of the teacher every time. Number three, the team. The cast of the Big Bang Theory are really amazing people and they've given us an incredible performance for the show. Now, in Young Sheldon, we get a reference to all of them in the episode, A Swedish Science Thing and the Equation for Toast, which is known as season two, episode 22, where we see all the younger versions of the team and see what they're doing right now. And that was just a really wholesome moment for the show and I really loved it. Next up is family. Sheldon always says how important his family and mainly his mother is to him. And we always see that in young Sheldon because the whole story of young Sheldon revolves around Sheldon and his family. Now we see this in the Big Bang Theory in the episode The Bowtie Asymmetry which is season 11 episode 24 where Sheldon's mother, brother and sister all come for his wedding. His dad couldn't be there because when Sheldon was 14 he passed away. Next up is Sheldon's mom and dad's fighting. In the beginning of the Big Bang Theory Sheldon said that his mom and dad have fought a lot. This was in the episode the guitarist amplification, also known as season three, episode seven, where he recites both of his parents fighting over something about his dad drinking and his mom being angry about it. Now we see this in young Sheldon because there are times where they do actually fight and we see it on screen. Now next up on our list is comics. Now we've seen from the beginning of the Big Bang Theory Sheldon loves pop culture and comics. He has read all of them and he loves reading and watching the films and comics. We see Sheldon's love for comics rose in season one, episode four of Young Sheldon, known as A Therapist, A Comic Book, and Breakfast Sausage. In this episode, Sheldon went to therapy and in that the therapist said he could read his comics and Sheldon really related to the X-Men and that is where his interest of comics started. Next up on our list is Nemo Drinks. Now in Young Sheldon we've seen that Nemo is really cool. She bowls, she drinks, she plays video games sometimes. Overall she's a great grandma and we've seen that she loves to drink 
we see this in the meme materialization in the big bang theory season 9 episode 14 when Mimo says she wants a whole glass of whiskey and that was just a really funny moment from the show next up is moon pie now in young sheldon sheldon's Mimo always calls him moon pie but we really never knew why at that point we got to know that in the Mimo materialization season 9 episode 14 where Amy asks his grandmom, why, why do you call him Moon Pie? And then Penny and Leonard respond by saying, he is so nummy nummy, she could just eat him up. And that was a really funny moment for me. And we actually found out why Mima calls him Moon Pie. Next up on our list is Soft Kitty. Now, in the Big Bang Theory, Sheldon gets sick. Even though he's a germaphobe, at times he can get really sick. And in those times, Penny is the one who sings him Soft Kitty. And we see the song Soft Kitty appear in the Young Sheldon episode, A Sneeze, Detention and Sissy Space Act, which is season one, episode 13, where Sheldon is being a germaphobe because his teacher sneezed twice. And after all that, his Mima convinced him to go outside and he got sick. After that, when he, when he got sick, Sheldon's mom sang him Soft Kitty, and that was a really that was a really wholesome reference to the Big Bang Theory. Next up on our list is Tam. Now, Tam was Sheldon's only friend and when he was a child, and we saw that they were really good friends. Now we've seen Tam in season 12, episode 4 of the Big Bang Theory where Sheldon said Tam wronged him by staying in Texas. And they finally get that resolution and we see Tam in the Big Bang Theory, which is pretty fun to watch. Next up on our list is My Mother Had Me Tested. Now, this has been a recurring joke in the Big Bang Theory where people say, are you crazy? Are you insane? Are you mad? And Sheldon always replies by no, my mother had me tested. And that is just one of the funniest things we've seen on the show. And that might have appeared in Young Sheldon in the episode, A Therapist, A Comic Book and A Breakfast Sausage, because he did go to therapy, so that could have been a test, but mostly it really isn't. But I just decided to include it. Next up on our list is Sheldon is specific. Now, what I mean is, we've seen in the Big Bang Theory, that Sheldon is a perfectionist. He loves to get things in the same order in the same thing. And we see an example of this in young Sheldon known as a tummy ache and the whale of a metaphor, also known as season two, episode 12, where Sheldon says, Canada dry? Yes. Room temperature? Yes. Mostly flat? And that is the first instance that we get to see of Sheldon being specific about what he wants. Now, we've also seen this in the Big Bang Theory in the episode, The Griffin Equivalency, also known as season two, episode four, where Sheldon says, did you remember to ask for the chicken with broccoli to be diced, not shredded? Yes. Even though the menu description specifies shredded? Yes. Brown rice, not white? Yes. Did you shop at the Korean grocery and get the good hot mustard? Yes. Did you pick up the low sodium soy sauce from the market? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. What took you so long? Greatest man alive. <laughs> All right, guys, so that will conclude conclude all the references from the Big Bang Theory and Young Sheldon and vice versa. Really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a like down below and if you do enjoy more stuff like this on my channel, consider subscribing. Other than that, thank you all for watching and peace out. Even though the menu, even though the menu descriptions, even though the menu,